passions today, and I know we got a lot of younger people here tonight, and I don't want to offend anybody, but what the hell is a fascination with these damn body piercings? I mean, I was young once, and I did some stupid shit too, but I don't walk around with a billy goat hanging off my dick to prove it. <laughs> kind of proud of that. My youngest daughter brought this kid to the house. He had a stainless steel all through his face, a zipper on his lips, and apparently it does not work. Finally, I had to ask him, I said, man, why would you do that to yourself? He said, you don't think it looks tough? It's like, tough. You look like you lost a fight with a staple gun, you little prick. <laughs> I used to work with a woman that had one right there in her nose, but she never actually wore the stud to work. Just walked around with that big asshole all the time. You know, when she sneezes, people duck. <laughs> and I know some of you ladies have these things in some pretty exotic places, don't you? Well, here's a little food for thought. If that's what it takes to draw attention to your cooter, accessorizing is not the issue, okay? <laughs> The other thing about getting old, uh, you, your body starts to change. Uh, things, things happen. You start to notice things that weren't there before. Maybe they weren't there before, you just didn't pay attention. But now you have to because bad things can happen. And so six months ago, when I found a lump on my left testicle, I went to see my doctor. And you notice I used the clinical term for that, testicle? Because it's, it's all about location. All right? When they're in the doctor's hand, they're testicles. When they're in your hand, they're balls, right? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I went in to see her, and uh, she said, well, it's probably no big deal. It's probably just a little bit of scar tissue left over from your vasectomy. And she wanted to know, she said, is it, is it causing any pain or anything? I said, no, why? She said, well, how did you find it? Through a routine self-exam? Okay. <laughs> she said, well, that's good. You should do that on a regular basis. I said, really? <laughs> Can I get a note? Because my wife thinks I'm going to be off. <laughs> Anyway, she, she said it was probably no big deal, but she wanted to send me in for an ultrasound anyway. And I didn't think anything about it. I didn't even really think about when they were going to do this. So I got in there, and the lady looks at me. She says, well, you're, you're here for the testicular ultrasound? I said, yeah, what? <laughs> I just hadn't thought about it. So they sent me back in a room, gave me this little paper towel gown. The girl says, you need to strip from the waist down, put this on, lay down on the table. I tore that damn gown getting it on because you know how it is, right? You, you get dressed so damn fast because you don't want the guy that's going to be playing with your junk to come in there and actually catch you with your underwear around your ankles. <laughs> so laying there on the table waiting on the technician to come in, I know it's going to be a young lady. It's always a young lady. And I'm going, God, please don't let her be cute. <laughs> God was listening to me that day. <laughs> Sucker had a goatee, okay? <laughs> He comes in and starts making small talk about the weather and the game, pat me on the back for doing the routine self-exams, which was creepy as shit coming from him. <laughs> then he reaches up underneath that gown and he took a tube of that liquid out of that ultrasound cream and <laughs> all over my balls. And that's what I think it was. I wasn't looking, okay? I was too busy checking this room for hidden cameras. <laughs> then he took that ultrasound thing, it looks like a little vibrator anyway reached up underneath there and he starts tracing circles around my testicles. And I'm like, God, this is just the most humiliating. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So Jim Marino, Hillary Clinton, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> I finally opened my eyes and looked at him because I thought, hey, as long as I'm looking at him, there is no way in hell I'm getting away, right? But what if he does? <laughs> This is not the time to be making eye contact. <laughs> well, he does this for like 15, 20 minutes. Finally pulls the thing out, hands me a napkin, and says, okay, go ahead and clean yourself up and get dressed. I thought, hey, now I know how my wife feels. <laughs> so I, I walked outside, I got on the cell phone, I called my doctor. I said, look, I don't know who the hell drained this test up. I know you don't have the results yet. I don't give a damn what the results are. I'm going to need a second opinion. <laughs> $15 copay, you hook my ass up. 